Hello everyone. So welcome back. So this is Rajesh Reddy. Now we are continuing polynomials and the introduction. Okay. So polynomial. So we already discussed about the polynomials in the previous eighth class. So here in our polynomials, what is actually polynomial? So polynomial is nothing but it is a part of algebraic expression. So we know algebraic expression. So algebraic expression means what? What is the combination of the variable and the numerical is nothing but a algebraic expression, isn't it? Right. So in this now polynomial, <coughs> before that when we have written some terms, let us observe what is a coefficient, what is a base, and what is a degree. So in this. 3 for example let us take the 3x power 7 so 3x power 7 in this the 3 is nothing but coefficient to the base x and the 7 is the degree of the variable okay so 7 is a degree and x is the base so always base can be taken in this polynomial as a variables and before that 3 is a uh, coefficient Okay, so now the polynomials. So polynomials we have we can able to describe into the two types. So based on the terms and the based on the degree. So first let us observe based on the terms. So based on the terms, terms nothing but one term or two terms or three terms or four terms like that. Okay, so when we take in that a single term. So single term is nothing but it's a monomial. What do we call that? A monomial. For example, let us take here 3x. So here only one term. So that it is called as a monomial. Or else we can take one more example 5x power 2 and 7x. So these kind of examples we can take for monomials. Mono. Mono means what? Single. So that monomial is nothing but where it has only single term. So let us come to the binomial. Bi. Binomial is nothing but which has two terms. So expression which has two terms is called as a binomial. So we can observe for example 2x minus 5. Here 2x is one term and 5 is a another term. So overall it consists of two terms. So that now 2x minus 5 is called as a binomial. Okay. Right. One more example 7x power 3 minus 8. Here also we can see two terms. 7x power 3 is a one term and uh, 8 is another term so that now two terms it has so that it is called as a binomial and now trinomial there is only the meaning you can see try try for what three so that where which has a three term so that it is called as a trinomial for example you can see two x power 2 minus 5x plus 6. Here we can observe 3 terms 1, 2 and 3. So when it has 3 terms, so what do we call it? As a trinomial, isn't it? Right. Now the multinomial. Multi means more than 3. Multi means what? More than 3. Means like 4 terms or 5, 6, 7, whatever it is. More than 3. The next what do we call that? That is as a multinomial. So that one example 2x power 3 minus 5x power 2 plus 7x minus 9. Here we have to observe only the terms. Here we have to observe only terms. So how many terms so it has? 1, 2, 3, 4. So total it has 4 terms. Means what? More than 3 terms. So once you can see when it has only single term is called as a monomial. When it has 2 terms it is called as a binomial. When it has 3 terms it is called as trinomial. Then more than 3 terms it is nothing but multinomial. Now let us observe about the based on the degree. So based on degree. Degree is very important. Just now we have seen here coefficient base degree. So <coughs> here we have to observe about the highest degree. So what is the highest degree? When the highest degree is 1 that is called as a linear polynomial. What do we call? Linear polynomial. Because the degree is only 1. So that it is called as a linear polynomial. So for example you take 2x or 3x or minus 5x. So like that any one degree term we can able to take. Here next quadratic. Quadratic means what? 2. Highest degree as 2. So when a equation which has an expression which has highest degree as 2. Here we won't consider the terms. We have to understand because based on the terms then we have to consider about the terms. Now here we have to consider only the degree. So that here linear means what? Highest degree as 1. 
Now quadratic means what? Highest degree as 2 and uh, for example you can take 3x power 2 plus 5x plus 1. Here what is the highest degree? 2 is the highest degree. Here nothing but no zero. Degree is 0. So that highest degree is what? 2. So that what do we call? Quadratic polynomial. And here the highest degree as 1. So where it is called as a linear polynomial. Now coming to the cubic polynomial. Cubic is highest degree as 3. So cube means nothing but you know very well. Highest degree as 3. So that here you can see the highest degree 3 and here one more 2, here 1. So what is the highest one? 3 is the highest one. So that, now what do we call that? Cubic polynomial. So the final fourth one which has biquadratic. Previously we know that quadratic. Now biquadratic means 2 2. So 4. Highest degree is 4 that is called as <coughs> biquadratic polynomial. So linear it is nothing but it has only 1 0. And quadratic where it has two zeros, nothing but zeros are depend on the degrees. So that quadratic has two zeros because the highest degree has two, so that it has two zeros. Then cubic polynomial will have three zeros because highest degree is three. Then biquadratic polynomial has four zeros which has highest degree as four. So I hope you have understand the based on the terms what polynomials we have and based on the degree what polynomials. We have. Now, first of all, after that, we, few uh, conditions are there where all algebraic expressions doesn't uh, call as a polynomial. For example, those three conditions we can see which has polynomial, which is not polynomial, right? For example, so which are not polynomial, let us see, then we understand what is polynomial. So, a polynomial, not, not a polynomial. So, what is not a polynomial? When it is not a polynomial, see, when, first one, 3x power minus 5. So, here the degree is negative integer. So, the polynomial never consists a negative integer as a degree. So, it is not a polynomial. The first condition very important. So, polynomial doesn't consist a negative power. Then, second one, for example, 3 by x power 2. So here the variable is in the denominator place. So when a variable is in the denominator place, then it is not called as a polynomial. So here it is in the denominator, therefore it is not called as a polynomial. The next third one very important. For example, 2 under root of x plus 5x minus 8. Here, what is here? The variable is present under root. So, it is not a polynomial. Okay, it is not a polynomial. So, three conditions if you remember, then you understand what is polynomial and what is not a polynomial. So, first one what? It should not have a negative degree and it should not be present in the denominator and it should not be under root. So, this is what about the polynomial. Other than this, we can able to say remaining everything as a polynomial. So, where these three conditions explains about which is not a polynomial. So I hope you have understand today's about the introduction of the polynomial which has degree and uh, coefficient and base. Okay. So now based on the terms and based on the degree what we have the polynomials and we get a yeah, we got uh, explained uh, with the examples also. Now we are not a polynomial. Right. So today this is our introduction class. Next we will continue the next class. Right. Thank you.